and welcome to a new video finally um i have to tell you i haven't put out a video in a while just because i did not have the time there was so much stuff going on and uh i'm gonna explain it a bit later some other time um but yeah let me just tell you i just needed the time for myself to take care of everything but we are back we are good and i'm currently on a lunch break from work I'm in the parking lot of uh, Gardes, the garden center here in Tartu. And let me just show you this amazing cherry blossom trees. I think the cherry blossom, they look so pretty. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna take you inside with me and we'll see what we shop. I'm actually just here to um, have a little lunch, but you never know, I think, uh, I want to buy some plants actually for my windowsill outside. It has been so empty for a while now, usually in the spring. I have some flowers there, but I don't know. I just didn't uh, find time so far, but I think I am taking my time today and let's see what we can find. I definitely need something like more grassy type. Uh, that can withstand a lot of sun because I do have a lot of sun in the morning and lunchtime. Um, so yeah, let's see what we can find. Hello everybody and welcome to my channel and welcome to the video. Um, for everybody that's new, my name is Kristen and uh, on this channel we are doing a lot of peaceful aesthetic uh, vlogs. Also a lot of decorating DIYs cooking and baking from time to time and like I said earlier today I took you with me to the garden center and it's supposed to be a really peaceful calming and relaxing vlog that's why I'm not talking too much um, and also later in the video we are doing a DIY shell garland a super cute decoration for summer really inexpensive and beautiful and it really elevates your home um, so if you want to see that, either stay tuned or just go further in the video. However, I really hope you enjoy this video. So let's get into it. So I am actually thinking if I should buy some like sunflower types because I know they can withstand like some heat or a lot of sun and I do want something flowery on my window set also because I think if I just have grass it's gonna look a little boring <laughs> but we'll see what we find there's definitely a really big selection here and my favorite flowers lilies look how pretty they are Oh, I just love them. To be honest, I am not a huge fan of lavender. I just don't like the smell. Otherwise, I would probably take lavender. But yeah, since I am not a huge fan, I think I am really good with these summer flowers that I found. They were labeled as summer flowers at least. And uh, I'm gonna find some nice grasses to go with them now. Let's see. Low maintenance, high pleasure. 
this grass but I am not sure if I like it so much to be honest I was thinking more like pampas grass type let's see if we find something else okay now this one I do like so let's see if we find a pot that I can take home maybe this one looks cute right okay you're coming home with me Okay, so I did find the dirt grass. It's like this mini mini grass. I don't know, compact blue. I think those three go together really well. This has a little bit of blue, this is blue, and this is just green. I think they look really nice together, and uh, I'll show you how they look later on my windowsill. This is always a tricky department for me all the decorations I have to go here really quick like go through really quick otherwise I will lose a lot of money <laughs> but I have so much pretty stuff So as you can see, I found some grasses and flowers. I bought a little lemon bowl also, I'll show you later again. And I bought some of this like Italian bread. And yeah, didn't spend too much money luckily. So yay, good for me. <laughs> oh my God, this is so good. It's pretty garlicky to be honest. So <laughs> my coworkers will have some fun when I come back. <laughs> But if you ever see this, you should try it out. It's so yummy. Mm. So here are my plants. They will go into this tray. I just cleaned my windows a little bit. They are not perfectly clean, but they're clean enough. <laughs> so let's see. Take this grass. Put it here. Looking good. Want the flowers in the middle part. Definitely need some water. You know uh, what you can do actually if they're too like low, you can put a little bit of uh, paper down there or just some rocks and they will be a little bit elevated. That's what I'm gonna do also because I think the flowers they could like go a little bit higher. So I just put some paper down there, they're now a little bit higher. This is how we're looking, I think it looks pretty good. I really like the combination of the two grasses and the flowers. And giving them some water of course. Also, this is the little lemon uh, bowl that I bought. It was $6.90, but it's so cute. Maybe for a little spoon rest or just for some snacks. I think it's super cute. So let's start with the DIY shell garland slash string light. It's super, super cute. Um, this wreath that you can see here, it's actually for the next video. Um, I already like filmed it together with this video. It's gonna be a DIY shell wreath um, that's lit up also. Super cute beachy decor, especially for um, like the bathroom, but also like for living room and stuff, it fits really well. 
Um, I got the lights from Pepco Home. They were really cheap, but they're these kind of like uh, cute little LED light bulbs. And I got this hemp uh, string or yuta string and these little shell pieces. I got those actually from the garden center, but I'm pretty sure you can find them online or in Amazon as well. And of course you're gonna need a hot glue gun and a lot of glue sticks actually. The shells I found from my local decor shop, um, but I think it would be even cuter if they were from like a beach that you collected from. But if you don't have that option, of course, like uh, from online shop or any local decor shop, you can buy uh, shells like I did. So I prefer to have the lights on while I'm working just to see how it, the end product will look like. Um, and we start by wrapping the string around the light string um, just in one way first. And then we're going to uh, make a knot at the end and twist it into the other direction and wrap it around again. Um, you will see how I did it in the video. It's really, really easy and uh, it looks actually amazing as is. So you can totally leave it uh, just the lights with the string on it and it looks uh, amazing. It looks kind of like a sailor type-ish or um, yeah, just also quite beachy actually. And I think it would be a great gift uh, for a guy, like for a cute home decor for the man cave or just also like for the girls. Like I think it's super, super cute. My boyfriend actually wanted. Um, this string light with the uh, yeah string around it for himself for his room so that's why I thought it'd be a great gift to somebody also and actually the shell garland I made I will give to my best friend um, for her birthday but here you can see how this uh, string light with the hemp string on it looks already it's so so cute the ends I will glue together with the hot glue gun just to make it more secure and be sure it won't slip So after finishing with the string, I started by putting the shells on uh, the string and onto the lights directly. They looked so, so cute and cozy illuminated. And um, for like putting the shells uh, onto the lights directly, I would recommend using um, yeah bigger shells uh, where the lights fit in and also make sure that you are using LED lights, not the actual light bulbs so they don't get so hot. And uh, yeah, once I had all the shells in place, I started um, with the help of my boyfriend by gluing them on. Uh, we glued them directly onto the string and then we actually uh, flipped the string over and glue, put some more glue like from the other side. Uh, you will see it in just a second. Um, we did this just to make them like, yeah, like more secure. Um, like here you can see we are gluing from the other side and actually you will not see the glue because uh, Yeah, they are laying the string is laying on the opposite side So yeah, this is just a step to make the um, whole string light more secure Here's an example of how the uh, plain string light looks a um, little bit styled uh, it looks so so like marine and beachy and you can also put it on a tray with some shells and it looks super cute also so you don't have to do the extra step and put the shells on but if you do you'll you'll end up with something like this which I personally love like I would love to keep this for myself so I think I will probably do another one just for myself since I am gifting this away but uh, let me know what you think of the stringlet. I think it's super, super cute. The perfect beachy summer decor. And as always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, it would mean the world to me if you hit that like and subscribe button. And see you next time.